to have that extra mobility and that extra vision. Mutas are starting to pop out here. We see a medevac, I think, flying, uh, flying on the bottom side of this map as well. He might actually be able to drop Sen on the right bottom side of this map. Sen is going to have a hard time dealing with those tanks. Uh, Thorzane, of course, scanning. Want to take out those creep tumors. Yeah, Mutas up into the third base of Thorzane, killing quite a few Marines and some SCVs. At the same time, Thorzane's pushing deep into the, into the Zerg territory here. Uh, Mutas doing some nice damage, but Sin is still pretty far behind. Oh, Thorzane sending in a siege tank over there as well. That's a little bit uh -oh. unfortunate. He's going to lose that. Uh, Thorzen's drop is doing some damage as well, but he's going to have to send a serious amount of SVs. We do have one Tor over there. The Orbiter Command is taking a lot of damage. Ooh, and all of a sudden, Sin's starting to bounce back. He's going to kill every one of these Marines, and he might get a Thor as well. So Sin uh, applying a ton of counter pressure here. Thor getting completely surrounded by SCVs. Will the Thor fall? No, it looks like, in fact, that Thor does survive. Really good job right there by Thorzen. Uh, just narrowly... Uh, repairing that Torres. Sen is going to try to break that container of Torres in or as far as you can call it, the container links will be able to take out those siege tank. Few Marines are still alive, we feel a couple of siege tank here as well, but they are completely exposed. But meanwhile, Sen lost a lot of supply. Yeah, Sen all the way down to just 80 supply, losing uh, quite a few mutas. Actually, every single muta of Sen dying. Uh, somehow, I guess he stopped looking at them when he uh, tried to bust that container and the Thor managing to kill everything. So, no more mutas at all on the map for Sen. Yep, another drop right now, or basically still the same drop from Torzen on the right bottom side of the map. Queen does fall, these Zerg links. Oh, Ooh. nice micro wow, on those very Marines. cute micro. Just picking up the damaged Marines and then unloading them again. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this uh, expansion under a lot of pressure. Ling's going to come in once again, try to surround, and the Thorzen still picking up and microing very well, dropping the Marine on that Bane Ling. Yeah, right now Sen is actually the one who's having not all that map vision. Uh, I mean, if we saw Antigua Shipyard, Sen saw basically the entire map. Right now he basically only sees... Uh, well, it's three bases, and obviously that's not a scenario where you want to be in as Zerk. Uh, you never ever want to be blind. Man, how much would it suck if your job was to be the Marine that gets dropped on the Bane Lane? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very unfortunate job, man. Not what I would have signed up for. Someone, uh, sometimes you got to take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> you should be familiar with that. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, finally, uh, Sin with enough units to repel this drop in his third base. Uh, Thor isn't going to continue trying to be annoying with it, but uh, he's essentially stopped doing any effective amount of damage. But look at this big push coming through the center of the map. 180 Terran supply barreling through the middle. 2-2 two, two upgrades as well. 3-3 three, three on his way. Sen is trying to get 2-2 two, two on his uh, Zerglings and Bailings, uh, but that's probably not going to cut it. And look at that 3 threat. It's almost non-existent. Of course, uh, you can blame Sen for that. That's just because Thorzen has been so active at denying it, kept yeah. taking out those creep tumors. So, well, final attempt by Sen. Oh, it looks like Sen is going to try to maybe tr bust this push. No, in fact, he says, I'm just going to run past and counterattack. Uh, this is, uh, I, I, I don't actually mind this decision too much. He's going to try to do something. We have a lot of Marines over here, but Torzen, though. And Sen is actually going to be in a little bit of trouble because his units, well, the Banelings are coming scarily close to those Marines. <laughs> Marines running for the hills right now. Banelings might connect. Nice splitting there by Thorzane. Yes, indeed. Beautiful split, even though uh, still quite a few Marines did die in that <laughs> lonely veiling right there, rolling through the middle of the map. Siege tanks look like they are going to get attacked by Zerglings. Attacked, but not surrounded, man. Tanks are really good at killing wings. And, and Sen will call GG well played. Thorzen takes game three in this series. Thorzen beginning to put together a bit of a comeback. Brings the series to 2-1. Now it's Sin's choice on what map to play next. A really nice game by Torzin. Finally, like some real early game aggression, not just letting Sen drone mm. up uh, so much as he did on Antigua, even though that was obviously part of Torzin's plan, and he felt he was yeah. uh, going to be able to deal with that if he would get those three quick command centers. But on, uh, on Antigua, he started to do a similar push. Uh, Marines, Siege Tanks, Hellions. Yeah. Uh, but he just didn't commit to it. He just pushed out and then backed off. Uh, this time on Shattered, he brought a couple SCVs, threw down the bunker, did commit to the push, did huge damage. Uh, took out a hatchery, took out some tech, killed a lot of lings and banelings. Excellent tank positioning as well during that first push. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, better. definitely. Really uh, exploiting the fact that you can't easily get down into that gold base. Not sure what's going on behind us, but it seems to be fun. Sounds, sounds exciting. Uh, so as soon as we know what map to host, guys, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the fourth game going. Sin up 2-1. Mm. Still have Terminus, most likely. Still have Tal the Remolter. Yeah, Kuraz is still in the map pool as well. Yeah, 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 that's right. The only maps we won't see are Zelnaga and Belshir Beach. That is right. Terminus is going to be the next map, so that actually might be a, a nice long macro map between these two guys. I mean, obviously very...